So I'd like to talk about temper paint and paint in general and how you're going to um, use this. All right, now the paint that you will be using is the one that has the pink tape on it. Clear label tape paint. Okay, in order to set up your area, your station, um, when you're working with this, you're going to put a mess mat down, okay, on the bottom for aprons. I would use them. Although temper paint is water based, okay, it will come out of clothes. Um, better safe than sorry. Um, as you can see, the drying rack is a great place to put things when it's done. Now, at the top, you see where it says dry work? If you never, you know, find anything, you're like, I can't find all my stuff. I don't know where I've gone. It's in the garbage. No, it's not. A lot of times I will take this stuff up, and as you can see, stuff is still drying. I have to take them off, and I put them into the dry work. So if you're finding your stuff, it might be there. Okay, so as we move over, um, stuff to store our paint. Okay. You will be have access to your own paints you're going to be putting in. You don't want to use a lot. Okay. Now, the way that these boxes work is, now we have a couple of people who have used these. Okay, I'm going to grab them. And this one, oh, this one goes. Like but, you know, it's still good, okay? So this is someone's paint box. What they do is they grab one of the empty paint boxes, one like that, in here, but people are still in, okay? And you would come over and get a wax paper, okay? Wax paper, write your name on the back, so when you're up in the bins, okay? And you put the wax paper in. And you're gonna add a little bit of paint that you need. Now these are good for, to be, you know, overnight. I'm not obviously to store your paint for a week, but great for like day-to-day -day use. If you find that any of the containers are clogged, the toothpicks. As you can see, people, this is not what I need you to do. Okay, clear it out, throw it away. All right. Um, let's see other things that you would need to know. Oh, storage. You put your stuff, your boxes up top. And the cool thing about this is a lot of my paint, although it may look like it might be drying up, you just add water and it will come back again, okay? Paper towels are very useful as well. Okay, so paint brushes. Let's talk about the paint brushes. All right, so as you can see, I have plenty, many, many different kind of paint brushes, okay? But one thing I wanna talk about is this one, okay? How we actually put them back. Okay. When you're done, I need you to wash them off, okay, and then you put in tushy, okay, said the head, tush, okay, side in, okay. Water containers, let's talk about the water containers. Okay, so when you're getting the water, all right, I'm going to move here. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of make like little puddles, all right. Notice that I am not filling this all up, okay. Okay, so in the bottom you'll kind of see how there's like little puddles in them, okay? So in order to keep having uh, an available clean um, little well of water, this is what I want you to do. So when you first paint, you got paint on here, what you're going to do is you're going to wash your paintbrush off on the ridge, okay? So this is always the well that you wash your paintbrush first. Tap it off. Pick which one's going to be next. I like going count, like clockwise. This would be my next, tap that off, tap here, tap here. You will find it pretty interesting that this will be brown, or the darkest color, lighter, white, clear, beautiful, clean water, okay? It tends to happen all the time. Um, a lot of times when we have one thing of water, um, you have to change it all the time. But if you are washing it first, tapping, dipping in here, tapping, you're getting less and less paint on, then in this last one, you will always have clean paint, okay? Now, yes, these are meant to hold your brushes, okay, which is cool. Um, you can, like, store your brushes here. It's very clear to me, okay? When you're done with this, all you have to do is just take it, rinse, rinse it up with some more water, and put it away, okay? And remember, tushy, side. Okay, so that is all about the paint. Um, please make sure that you are very careful about not getting on the floor. If any of the paint containers are empty, just say, hey, that's empty. I'll let you go and fill it. And um, when you're at the tables, ooh, look at those tables. Beautiful. Oh, the chairs out. Okay, um, if you get any paint on the tables, please just 
grab a sponge, wipe it up, but hopefully using the mess mat up there. Mm -hmm.